Today I'm going to talk about a procedure or treatment called facial cupping in conjunction with lymph drainage. I know that a lot of individuals here on YouTube have uh, taken up just little cups and started doing lymph drainage, but do they know really know, do they know how it really works? So today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the benefits, the contraindications, um, some anatomy, so you know exactly what you're doing and why you're going to see results on your skin. So let's get started right now. So very quickly, let me introduce myself. My name is Maria from Vancouver, Canada. Welcome. I want to uh, thank all my subscribers for their support, their love, and most of all, the questions that they ask me. If you do not know me and you're stopping by and you love my content, please do stay, give me uh, questions, and I love if you subscribe to my channel. It's up to you. So not very many people talk about the contraindications. Everybody wants to do a lift drainage and cupping. There is, there is also people that should not do this treatment. So the first one is the people that have acne. And you say, well, Maria, if you do lymph drainage, you're going to uh, clear out. Well, if you have acne on your face, you could do lymph drainage on your neck. You can on your chest, but not where you have the inflammation. You're, you're gonna cause more problems. If you have acute inflammation throughout the body, I would not advise. If you have any form of tumors, benign or malignant, I would not do any lymph drainage. If you have cancer, I would not do either. Um, thrombosis or uh, any heart disease, if you have any swellness, if you're sick, I would not do lymphatic or even cupping the benefits which are so so many the first one is that it will enhance your circulation both uh, the blood circulation and the lymphatic the blood circulation nourishes every single cell of your of your body of your skin and the lymphatic system is more of a filtering system that cleans out your body and of course your skin so if you do this treatment you will see the benefit it reduces fine lines and wrinkles and of course it's not gonna you're not gonna do it only once and boom all your wrinkles are gone it is something that you do consistently and not only doing only this there's other things I'm gonna talk about today it reduces the puffiness on your face uh, because by doing the cupping and the lymph drainage you're moving the fluid that's stuck in the tissue towards the lymph nodes it minimizes if you have any inflammation in your in your skin because by doing lymph drainage again you're moving everything that is pathogenic in your skin promotes the lymph drainage in the face of course that goes hand in hand it reduces muscle tension so if you have headaches or migraine when I'm showing you certain points it will reduce and you will feel amazing it clears up the sinuses mm -hmm. so while you're doing this treatment you might need to uh, stop and clear out uh, uh, your nose oh. enhances the collagen production but there is other ways to do this too by micro needling micro currents there are so many other things so I say to you that through this treatment you can also stimulate the collagen and you can kind of alternate between all the other treatments and I do have different tutorials for every single treatment it strengthens the elastin so you say my Maria what's the difference between collagen and elastin well the collagen gives you the taut and the elastin the elastic gives you the elasticity of the skin it gives you a natural lift uh, tones and tightens the facial skin and also the muscles you're so uh, so here we go let's it's not so blurry so on this side here you have the facial nodes which is on, on the face then you will have the uh, submental and the submandibular and right in this area here you will have the supraclavicular so that is a really a major major node that we will stimulate over this side you will have the preauricular which is in front of the ear the postauricular auricular sorry which is behind the ear and then the three cervicals right in this area here so now that you know the nodes and that we are going to be moving the uh, uh, the lymph and the doing the cupping now you know exactly mentally you know what you are doing 
when you do this treatment, you can do it quickly. You know, just wash your face and uh, put some oil and away you go with your cups. Yes, you will see results. Please do the steps as I'm showing them because there's a right way and a wrong way. Or you can do it as a treatment for yourself and it'll take a little bit longer. You're going to pamper yourself or you can pamper a friend or a family member. Uh, or if you're an esthetician, you can see amazing results with this treatment in conjunction of other treatments that you may have. So the first thing I advise is to have a good cleanser. Uh, I use a True Science because it is a cleanser that you use very little. You lather it up and it washes, it removes all your uh, makeup if, ha if you have any foundation on. And it does uh, uh, remove your makeup without stripping the skin. That is the key because after you have a cleanse, if your skin feels tight, you have removed too much of the acid mantle, causing other problems. Okay, so be very careful. After I do that, I like to use either a scrub. And the purpose of the scrub is to remove all the dead skin or I like to use a rotary uh, little machine here yeah and uh, you just stimulate and clean off all the dead skin and this might take a couple minutes so once you have done that process I always advise to do a little bit of hot towels uh, or a steamer so you can stimulate the blood circulation now the brush and the steamer is not necessary, but if you do it, you'll see better results. Then this is a time that I use uh, a rosehip oil. I like it rosehip because the rosehip is high in vitamin C. So it's an antioxidant, uh, but you decide what you want to use. Uh, down below, I have uh, one rosehip oil that is really good. So I use that one or the eminence. So depending what I have, I use but I always try to have always good products It's better a little bit of good than tons of garbage I always say that so uh, my skin is nice and clean and I'm going to apply my oil I have applied a thin layer of oil now it is better more than less during this procedure because you don't want to tug your skin and at the same time you don't want to cause any form of bruising so once you applied your good oil and the movements must be done slowly because if you go quick it's not going to cause you're not going to get any benefits that's number one and in each area i'm going to do only one for sake of time but for every movement that you do you have to do at least three times so what I would advise you, write down notes so you know exactly uh, what I'm doing step by step. I have uh, three uh, different cups. One is more for uh, the body or the décolleté. Uh, the other one is for the larger parts of the face. And then I have the teeny weeny one for around the eyes and for the nasal labial and for the marionette lines. For So three of them. So when you start doing the treatment, you want to start working in the neck area and also stimulate the auxiliary because you don't want to just do your face. You want to work throughout the décolleté and the face. So the uh, two nodes that we're going to be working on right now are the auxiliary, which is right underneath the underarms, and also the supraclavicular uh, nodes. Uh, those are the ones that we're going to be uh, working on and the uh, cervical. Yeah, a lot of them right now. And so now the oils is uh, on. And the first thing you want to do is to stimulate the supraclavicular. And just by doing either like this, like tapping, like that. So it's almost like, like a stroke hmm? or tapping. Either way, it's good. And you want to do this for at least, I don't know, about 30 seconds. It's almost like you're like stimulating, you're opening the door to a good treatment. Okay, once you've done this for about 30 seconds, um, I like to use these ones, but as I mentioned before, you can also use the large ones. Uh, these ones here are better for the body. I don't have uh, an open sweater here, but you want, there's three, three steps. Uh, one, two, three. So whatever is happening on the right hand side, stay uh, over this line, and whatever's on the left hand side, you stay on that side of the body. So we're going to start lower and it's almost like it, it a little bit of a suction huh? and you I'm gonna stand back here and you work yourself all the way okay to the auxiliary one 
you do three times. Then you go a little bit higher, go all the way there to the axillary, and a little bit higher, just below the, the clavicle bone, all the way down to the axillary. Okay, three, three, three. Now, when we do the neck, you can do with one. See, it's a little bit of a suction, or you can do both at the same time. I like to do them both at the same time. Three times here, three times here, and three times here. Now, remember that a lot of people, they go quick. It doesn't work. You have to go really slowly. Uh, also, by doing the neck, you're going to stimulate the thyroid gland, which is so good. And I do have a tutorial on that. So if you are interested in uh, taking care of your thyroid gland, which keeps your skin young, look at it. You don't do only in the front. You also want to do it in the back of your neck. So pull up your hair and you do, let me pull it back up. So three, three times and then three times. And of course you do three times on the other side. I want to emphasize that you do not take too much suction. Otherwise you're going to cause bruising and that is not the point of this treatment. The point of this treatment is to move the fluids in your skin so uh, the lymphatic system can filter and cleanse your body and your skin. So the next one is called, they're in the shape of a seven. So it starts here and each movement you're going to do three times. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of suction. You go all the way to the ear and then down to this point, the supraclavicular. And then you go down here, same suction, go all the way down to the ear and then down again. Then a little bit lower to the ear and then down. Remember three times on each one and then a little bit lower to the ear and then down to the clavicular in this area. So now we're going to work around the mouth and all the way up to the ears and then in this area all the way up to the ears and then the base of the nose and all the way up to the ear. Okay so you can use these ones here and you're gonna go right in here and you're gonna push, pull all the way up to the ear. You do three times. Then you're gonna go in this area here, sorry. Three times in this spot. Mm -hmm. Always lifting. And then I'm gonna take off my glasses, sorry about that. And then at the base of the nose, okay, and you're gonna drain all the way up to the ear the pre-auricular in front of the ear. If you want a little bit of, like additional lifting in this area, you could do a little bit more. Like we work on the neck and we worked on the cheek area, lifting out the cheek. But if you want to spend additional time in here for lifting, yes, you can. So you start right in here and you work yourself here. And you can do it one time Okay, so right underneath, see nice how, how pink it is in this area and just above it. And then you can do that side, the other side. It feels so good. These uh, treatments doesn't take very long, maybe 10 minutes for a quick treatment. If you want to do a little bit longer treatment, half hour, do this two times a week and you are stimulating your, your nerves, your blood, your lymph. It is an amazing type of treatment. Right now, we're gonna work on the lip area, not only the lips, around the lips. So that means uh, I'm going to do, you could do both at the same time, but in this area, I like to do one at a time, but that is something that you decide. So I wanna work on the Marian lines, uh, the nasal labial, and also uh, on the lips itself. I call these ones the collagen enhancer and the wrinkle eraser. Oh, before I forget, they're very easy to wash, but you do need to wash uh, with a soap and water, a hot soap and water, leave them in there for a little while, because a lot of the oils, they go inside. And if you don't wash them properly, then the oils, they become rancid, and it's not a good idea. So let's work on the marionette, which usually women get uh, in this area when, as you get older. So I like to start to stimulate 
few times and then on the other side Uh -huh. So you stimulate, see nice and pink. And then I like to work on the nasal labial and I like to go somewhat across and then go to the auricular, pre-auricular, okay? So let's go this way and again, three times on each spot. And then I'm gonna go all the way down to the auricular. See nice little pink here. Do that three times. And now I'm gonna go over here. and then go all the way down to the auricular. If you have additional in this area, you could do a little bit more by going upwards. Uh -huh. Some people like to go downwards, but it's easier to just go up and then go to the ear. Mm -hmm. So you're stimulating uh, the blood in that area. I also advise a facial exercising muscle facial exercising which I have uh, uh, several tutorials for the full face and that different areas that you can work why do I uh, believe in muscle exercising is because the muscles are underneath your skin and if you keep those muscles nice and tight the skin stays up too you want to spend additional time around the lips because that is an area that the most women have uh, problems the fine lines and the marionette lines and the nasal labial so what i advise get an additional uh, few drops of oil that you have okay and uh, you apply it right on your lips mm -hmm. <laughs> get your collagen enhancer and uh, you, you remember that you want to work around your lips but then you want to spend additional time yeah while causing any bruising on the top and got it really nice and pink mm -hmm. uh, this is not bruised it's just a little bit of pinkish okay a little bit pink. The marionette lines on the other side. You might want to work additionally on uh, the nasal labial. This is all just pink. It's nothing to worry about. Within uh, 30 seconds, it goes away. Now, around the eyes, I cannot wear the glasses. <laughs> So you are a little bit blurry. <laughs> no, my eyes are not that bad, but uh, okay. So around the eyes, remember that the skin in this area is very sensitive. So you cannot do that. Okay, you should never lift like this because that is actually not good for your skin. So you start and then down. Okay, so you go start around the eye area. So three and three very close, and then you drain to the temple or right on the top because in here we have the auricular nodes that are all throughout this area so one two and three and then you please do the other side and again around the eyes for more control i like to uh, do one at a time but you can do it at the same time then i like to go right about just below the eyebrow yeah oh this is so good for you yeah and then of course here and then you lay release it in the hair line yes yeah now if you have crow's feet that most women do I like to do like little circles so a little bit of suction yeah so you have to see you'll see some pinkiness yes and then go to the hairline yes so you decide how much work you need to do for each area of your face. I would do all the face equally. However, if you have an area that you need additional help, please do that. Okay. So one, two, three, and end up here. And then here, a couple of times to here. And then if you have any, like uh, the uh, wrinkle here in the center caused by the corrugator muscle, take this one. And of course, just do little, little circles. And one way, little circles, yeah. And the other way. This, the center here is also really good. If you have a uh, migraine headaches or if you have a uh, headaches, it actually releases all the tension on your forehead. Ah, so I can see again. 
Okay, so now we're doing the, uh, the forehead and especially if you have little wrinkles. This is so good, especially if you have uh, tension. And a lot of people get tension of uh, the forehead and they get headaches mainly from stress. So you could do one at a time or both at the same time. It's up to you. If you do both at the same time, it's, of course it's much faster, but when you do one at a time, you have more control. Okay, so it's up to you. I know I said I'm going to do only one, <laughs> but it feels so good and it feels like it, it takes away all the stress, a little bit pink, it's okay. Now, if you have little fine lines in there, like I have some, you can use a little collagen enhancer, wrinkle eraser, and you can massage onto the wrinkles, like little circles. I have this one here. Yeah. And go towards the hairline. Uh -huh. So the closing drainage is three steps. One is around the neck area, one is in the cheek area, and then of course the forehead, because what you wanna do is to just drain everything that is left over, okay? So let's start with uh, doing the neck, and I will do both at the same time. So three times here, three times here, and three times here. Then we're gonna do the face, which we're gonna start in here and work ourselves down, okay? And that, three times there, three times there. We're going down lower, the lip area. Yeah. Oh, okay, the chin area. And then the jawline area. Okay, always go to the ear and all the way down to the cavicular. Okay, so then the neck, then the cheek area. Okay, in here, and you go here and here. And don't lift anything around the ear like this and then down, okay? Again, uh, right here like this, down to the, the temple, auricular here, behind the ear, and all the way down to the cavicular. And you do that three times. I totally love this treatment. It is not an expensive treatment. These little uh, cups, they cost 10 or $20, depending uh, uh, what you want to purchase. Uh, some of them are a little bit more expensive, some of them are like $5, but try to get some of them that are a, somewhat of a good quality, and I have a link below. A good oil. I love uh, um, rosehip, I've always have, because it has antioxidants, but you decide an oil that you can nourish your skin, but at the same time is uh, gliding. So basically, that's it. Uh, during the day, I do like to have a good skincare and I use a true science and there's a link below on that. So once you finish your treatment, you uh, remove it with hot towels, you apply a, you can go and apply a mask and then uh, remove the mask and play a night cream and then the way you go to bed. Fantastic. Uh, Alternatively, like uh, every uh, second night, do uh, uh, muscle exercising to keep those muscles nice and tight. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I have. Please put comments below and I will talk with you very, very soon. Take care.